I wanted to make a quick video explaining the difference between force and torque and kind of how torque works in general in a wheel and axle system. Now you should recall that our formula for torque equals our force times our radius or our force times the distance that our force is applied from the center of our circle. Now we are given two different radiuses or radii I guess, one at our wheel and one at our axle. So here we have the force resistance applied at our wheel and then we have another one at our axle here, our effort force in this system we have illustrated for ourselves. And we can easily figure out the radius of both, right? So this is the diameter of the axle is six inches. So the radius of our axle, we'll call that half of that, which is three inches. And of course, three inches, well, that is 0 0.25 or one quarter foot. Since torque is measured in foot pounds, that's important. And how did I get that? Well, what I did was I took our number of inches and I divided it by 12, which converts it into feet. So three divided by 12 is 0 0.25 feet. And we can also figure out the radius of our wheel here. If the diameter is 27 inches, then we know that 27 inches divided by 2 would be our radius. And 27 divided by 2, we get 13.5 inches. So we know the radius of our wheel equals 13.5 inches. And to convert that into feet, all we're going to do is take that number and divide that by 12 as well. Because again, there's 12 inches in a foot. And what do we get? We get 1 point one two five feet and so if we want to know the torque at our axle all we would do is say well the torque at our axle is equal to our force at our axle multiplied by the radius at our axle and so we know the force at our axle we said was we ended up getting 4,500 pounds, you may recall. Okay, so we say 4,500 pounds is our force, and we will multiply that by the distance, which we just said was 0 0.25 feet. And again, it's important to have our radius in feet because torque is measured in foot pounds. Feet times pounds is foot pounds. And so if we want to know what our torque is, all we have to do is pull out our handy dandy calculator. We'll say, what is 4,500 multiplied by 0.25? and we get 1,125 foot-pounds. And so we'll say equals 1,125 foot-pounds. And let me actually move this over just a little bit to the left so we have some room to work for ourselves. But then using the radius at our wheel, we can find the torque at our wheel as well. We can say, well, that's equal to the force at the wheel. Well, we said that was 1,000 pounds. So we'll say 1,000 pounds multiplied by the radius at our wheel, which we just said was 1.125 feet. And so 1,000 times 1.125, you could notice there's just three zeros. So that decimal will just move three places. And what are we left with? Well, we get a torque at our wheel of, well, it's the same thing, right? It's just 1,125 foot-pounds. And so what we end up finding is, is the torque is consistent throughout the entire wheel and axle. And so we can even draw this idea for ourselves. We can say we have some wheel attached to some drive shaft, which is then attached to some axle. And we can say the torque at our wheel, so this torque at our wheel is equal to the torque at the axle. The torque is consistent throughout the entire system. And let's go ahead and write this out for ourselves for our notes. Let's start by saying, let me make this a little bit bigger. Let's start by saying that our torque is equal throughout a wheel and axle. So all the way up and down our drive shaft, the torque is going to be consistent if they're attached to the same sort of shaft or axle. And then we can also say that if we are closer to the center of rotation, or in other words, we have a smaller radius, this means we have a bigger force. And of course, the opposite is true as well. If we are farther from the center of rotation, or in other words, we have a bigger radius, 
this means we have a smaller force. And that's essentially how torque works and the difference between force and torque in a wheel and axle system.